Hey, it's Meg. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am excited to chat with you about pricing and confidence as a brand photographer. And believe it or not, this is something that I get asked the most about from other photographers I mentor, from people who join my Facebook community. And I promise you're in the right space if you're feeling any kind of confusion or lack of confidence, especially around your pricing. I know we get into this work because we love photography and we're passionate and we want to have a fulfilling job, to really feel like we're living in our purpose. That's why we become photographers. And I know like the pricing stuff can really hold us back. So I'm hoping by the end of our chat today, you are feeling way more confident, way more clear on what you wanna go out there and charge your clients. Before we get in to my biggest tips for pricing, can you please like this video, hit subscribe, share it, comment. I love to see the love from you because that really motivates me to keep making more videos like this. I love your requests. You can comment below if you have a specific topic you want me to chat on soon. The biggest thing with confidence and pricing is one, they go hand in hand. It's easy to not feel confident in your marketing and what you have to offer in your work as a photographer if your pricing is misaligned. And when I say misaligned, I mean that you could possibly be charging too much or too little. Just kind of take an assessment first of where you're at with your own pricing. When you talk about what you do, when you get on that sales call with a client, that discovery call, when you're pitching yourself or sending your prices or showing someone your website with your services, you want to feel like really proud of your price and really excited to say, hey, this is my price. And when you say that number out loud, you can try it right now. <laughs> say, yes, I would love to help capture some gorgeous brand photos for you. This is the price. How does that feel for you? What I see is a lot of times people, we compare ourselves to other photographers. It's easy to do. I'm guilty of it. I still do it. <laughs> and like we look at their pricing, we look at their work and we really get in our head and we go down that comparison trap. Like there's nothing there for you. There's a quote I love that I say all the time. Comparisonitis is the thief of joy. And I see a big reason people are losing confidence in their pricing and you're not able to sell your photography at your current rate is because you are comparing, comparing, comparing. And instead of creating your own prices based on your own strategy and how you're currently feeling about the value that you offer your clients, what you feel confident in charging, you're charging what you think you should charge based on what another photographer said or a business coach said or this course said. And that can be super dangerous. For me as a business mentor and coach for photographers, I never will tell you what to charge. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm not the coach for you. <laughs> I really want you to discover your own price, what feels aligned to you, so then you feel really confident going out and selling it. So here is a practice I want you to do right now. Take out a pencil and a piece of paper. I want you to write down two numbers. Number one, what is your flourishing price? What is that like big, big stretch goal where one day you'd really love to get to this number in your business? Maybe it is six figures. Maybe it's beyond that. Maybe it's 50,000. So you can leave your corporate job and replace that salary. Like what is your big number? And I want you to later like do the math, like, like chunk it out. Like how many photo shoots do you actually desire to do each year, each month? And do the math, you know, divide your flourishing goal by that number. How many photo shoots you want to do? total in the year and you'll get what you need to charge per photo shoot. You know, you can go deep into the strategy. I have a pricing calculator in my confident brand photographer course. I know there's a ton of like tools and resources out there for you to create and really map out the strategy, you know, really factor in your time, business expenses, taxes. So you're getting an accurate number and picture of what you really need to charge to pay yourself your dream salary someday. 
once you have that number and awareness and strategy, then I want you to actually tune in. Don't look at anyone else's pricing. Don't look at a strategy. I want you to look at like, what have you currently been charging? How is that making you feel? Are you booking out? Are you converting at least 30% of your leads to sign up as clients? That's a pretty healthy number right there. And if you're not, what I want you to do is write down a new number. Write down your stretch goal. This is going to be like your new standard for what you're going to charge in your business for your photography. What is your current pricing that you feel confident going out and sharing? And when I say confident, you're confident that with this price, let's say it's a thousand dollars, charging a thousand dollars, you're confident you can over deliver. You're confident that that client is going to invest that thousand dollars and they're going to come out the other end on your current client experience feeling like, oh my gosh, this was worth double that. Like she really over delivered. I would do it again. I'm going to refer her to everyone I know. It was totally worth a thousand dollars. Like what is that number for you? This is a fun exercise I love doing with my mastermind and we dive in and I give feedback on their pricing and offers. My next biggest tip is to boost your confidence. You want to be out there taking action and actually photographing real humans, doing the headshots, doing the brand poses, practicing, okay, and different lighting situations. You can't, you can't read a book or take a course and learn photography. You can like grasp the ideas and principles, but you really build your confidence when you're in that photo shoot and you're applying these things and your photos are improving every single photo shoot you do. I want you to look at your schedule, look at your sales conversion, see what's been working and charge a rate that you can get bulked up at. Because here's the thing, in order to boost your confidence as a photographer, you need to be, you need to be in it. You need to be doing photo shoots, serving clients. So in the beginning, like the more clients you're serving, the better. So why not charge an easy yes price to fill your calendar? Then once you're booked out about three months, raise your price. When you're looking ahead and you're, wow, I'm booked out two or three months, that's a sign and you're still getting, you know, inquiries and business and referrals because you're so amazing. That's a sign that, okay, it's time to raise my prices. There is no standard when it comes to pricing. I know photographers charging a hundred dollars and there's photographers that charge 10,000 or more. And my last tip for you with feeling more confident as a brand photographer is to elevate your own branding. Do you have a logo? Do you have colors? Do you have a designer? Have you used Canva templates? And have you updated your websites? When you elevate your own branding and you're feeling more clear and confident in your brand values, your brand mission statement, your website, that is automatically gonna boost your confidence. And maybe investing in a brand photo shoot, that's another idea for you is Maybe it's time to elevate your own brand photos and then those that's going to attract a new level of clientele for you and boost your confidence so that you can charge more without blinking an eye because you're like, hey, I know I'm worth it. I've been investing into my business, investing into my branding. I've been practicing and it's time. Another tip I want to share about pricing. When you're first starting, I do recommend having several offers for brand photography. And that way you can have several different price points for people with different budgets because we may have that number in mind, that flourishing goal you got earlier of like, but right now, while you really like build your brand credibility and your brand reach, what's really great is if you can just work with more clients and serve more people, because that gives you an opportunity every time they post the photos, every time they share about you, every time you tag them and they repost or they tag you. I mean, that's going to expand your network and get you in front of more potential clients. I recently made a video about the brand mini session day. Check that out because brand mini session days are a really great way to work with people who maybe don't have the biggest budget to afford your premium offer, but they're gonna be incredible clients that you know send referrals your way. 
And another video I want you to check out is my offers, the different types of offers that you can do as a brand photographer. And that really dives deep into like different ideas for you. We talk about subscription offers. We talk about just having one offer versus having like a tier, like multiple offer, like which one's for you. I know it's like sometimes like pricing isn't even the block. It's like actually you just need to create the incredible client experience first and the offer. And then you're going to like have so much more clarity about the pricing and what to charge. I hope this was helpful for you. Don't be scared about pricing. You know, you can always adjust. I want to hear about it. You know, DM me on Instagram as you start to apply some of these practices and book your clients. I would love to hear your wins. Like send me a DM message. It seriously makes my day. I screenshot them and I put them in like my fan mail folder <laughs> on those days where I am having a hard day because we all have that as entrepreneurs. So I appreciate you being here and spending this time with me to grow your business. I hope this was so valuable for you. Have a great, great day.